Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick video of like my nightly regimen kind of thing, getting out of the shower um, for you guys. Um, so yeah, I have my PJs on. This is, you guys probably have seen this before, this is like one of my favorite shirts. It says I heart French kissing on it, but this is my favorite. This is my daughter's favorite too because she like runs her hands through it and then sometimes I'm like, okay, that's mommy's boob. Um, but yeah, and then I just have some striped pink, like loose stretchy pants, um, PJs because I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee and maybe make some cupcakes. Mm. Anyways, um, so yeah, I just got out of the shower, um, so let me, I think you guys have seen this so many times, but I swear by this now, like, I love it, this is the Fortis Style Curl Calm Down, it works like freaking amazing, so you put it on when your hair is like damp, and, um, it really does work, like, I have the poopiest, like, nastiest hair ever like I hate my hair it freaking sucks but when I put this on and I don't know if you guys go to sleep like if you braid it or something but grandma would always tell me that if you braided your hair before you went to sleep that it would actually get longer I don't know if that's true I've never done it but I always just leave it loose and that's probably another reason why but that's probably another reason why I usually wake up like if I don't put that cream on. But um, I don't know. I can't sleep with my hair in a bun and a ponytail. Like it's so uncomfortable to me. So I just keep it down. So this is what I use. And when I wake up, my hair is like the curls are more defined versus just like having your hair like this. And yeah, my hair wakes up like this puffy. And it just keeps it. Calm down, your curls look really nice. Um, so yeah, that is definitely one of the things that I use. And then I this is something new that I just started using. It's called Puristics, and it's actually from the drugstore, and it's a daily anti-aging sunscreen lotion. Um, I have another one that I use before I put on a moisturizer, like daytime moisturizer. But this is, this is supposed to be, it has SPF 15 obviously in it, so it's supposed to be like a daytime thing, but I was reading reviews on it and stuff, and it's supposed to be a really good like nighttime cream, so I thought I would try it, and uh, so far I've been liking it. Um, I bought it the other day for 25 cents at CVS, and um, it's regularly like $22, so just... But it should last a while, so we'll see how it goes. And then just put some on my fingertips and then rub it on my face. And that's pretty soft. Oh, I have a pimple like right here. And it like oh, it freaking hurts. I hate when I get pimples like on weird places. But yeah, so I just put this cream on. And yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Definitely worth a try for 25 cents. I don't know if I would actually pay $21.99 for it. We'll see if it works good or not. So, if it's good, maybe I'll consider buying it again. But, yeah. The power of pure puristics. So then, another thing that I do is my... I put on some of my EOS lip balm. When I come out of the shower, like, I'm just so dry. Like, my face is super dry. Um, I don't use, I don't wash my face with anything. I have purchased some stuff that I want to try just because lately I feel like my, I've been breaking out. I don't know if it's because I just finished my monthly thingamabobba thingamabob, but, um, um, I've never washed my face with any product or anything. I just use water, but I have always had a problem of, like, I come out of the shower and it's really dry because I don't moisturize it with anything in the shower. And same thing with my lips. So, I like to put this on before I go to bed. Just to, like, help my lips from being dry. And if they're dry, I tend to bite my lips. And then they get all gross and scabby in the morning. And they look horrible. But, yeah. So, it's something else that I use. And then, I just started using this. It's Burt's Bees. 
Mama Bee Nourishing Body Oil. And I'm not sure if this is supposed to be for like pregnant people or not. But I think these things are usually like 10 bucks and I got them for, I got it for a dollar. Um, I got it for a dollar. Um, It doesn't say it's for pregnant people. So, yeah. I don't put it all around my body because it feels a little awkward to me. I don't know. Just oil always has. But on my hands, I have like the roughest man hands ever. Like, my mom always tells me crap about it. And like, in high school and stuff, like... I would never put anything on my hands, like, I'm just like, ah, oh, what's the big deal, and they were always, like, dirty looking, you know, like, scruffy, like, really, really manly, and now, they're a little better, I mean, they're still huge, like, they're as big as my face, almost, oh my gosh, I'm scared now, I feel like I have freak freakishly large hands, I feel like a monster, anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, this stuff is, like, really 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 like, soft and stuff so just on my hand, arms the hands I like it so it'll last me a long long time um, before this I used like um, this other it, little oil like this big it's a Mexican thing I don't know what it's called because my mom gave it to me but um, yeah um, that is pretty much all that I do, I put on some deodorant, but that's nothing new. But oh, I do, guys. I I do want to tell you about something about my deodorant is that um, I think when did I buy this deodorant? Probably when I was in Chicago. I think I purchased it because I had a really good coupon for it, and I was just looking for a deodorant that actually like blocked odor. Like I guess I just sweated, sweated. I guess I would just sweat profusely and I needed something stronger so I, I'm doing the secret is it secret no not secret it's dove dove clinical strength and they're kind of pricey I think they're like seven eight dollars and the bottle's actually like this big I'm like well the F but so I had the coupon I think it was like buy one get one half off or something and then get a gift card and then I had a coupon for three dollars off too so it was a really good deal so I purchased two and I love this deodorant so if you're looking for something that just um I don't know if it's like a big girl thing or not that you feel like like you sweat a lot like I never had like wet spots or anything but I did stink after a while like my deodorant wasn't doing anything so that one is a good one in case you were in the market for trying something new or something that actually works, which I think it does. And they have different ones. They have like a sport one, they have uh, like a regular clinical strength, they have stuff for, they have some for different stuff or whatever. And then, so yeah, I want to show you like just two other things that I purchased when I was at the drugstore when I bought the other items that I've been using. Um, I bought this Pure Ice Crackle um, nail polish they're regularly like $3.99 I got it for $0.25 cents, and this is the color Jet Setter I really like the color and excuse my nails now um, I accidentally dumped out like all of my nail polish remover so I cannot get this crap off it sucks so I'm stuck for now until I go get some more nail polish remover but yeah $0.25 cents. and then something else that I got was this um, Maybelline, Maybelline New York um, what is it called? Rewind? Rewind? Yeah, Rewind Foundation. And it's in the color Cocoa, which you can like tell right away that this isn't my color. But I like buying like darker foundations because I like using them as like to contour on my, um, my face. I like to put it on like the hollows of my cheek. Right around here, just to hollow this out. Um, some here, and then of course a little bit, just a little bit for my nose. I just wish my nose was a little 
there, yeah, but anyway, um, that's what I use dark colors for, and so when they're really cheap like that, the, this was a dollar, and I'm so pissed, because I had like a dollar off coupon off any Maybelline foundation, and I left it on my desk, and I'm like, no, I had a coupon for this at all, and there's nothing more devastating than going out to buy an item and then finding out that you had a coupon for it, maybe that's just me, not crazy, but anyway, yeah. So, that is kind of like my little night routine slash a mini drugstore haul theme of Bob. So, yeah, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Adios.